What's up everybody? I am here in my shop just uh, going to put together this little video as promised so you guys can kind of see some of the stuff that I've been talking about endlessly. Uh, just all this fishing crap and a few of the other things that I've got that I'm working with here. Trying to work through I should say. Uh, so yeah, if any of you have any suggestions for me or whatever or if you're interested in any of this stuff feel free to let me know get a hold of me get with me we'll uh work something out or whatever i don't mind shipping stuff if you want to come and see it then we can talk about that too but here it goes this is it so i'll try and get through this pretty quickly and not spend too much time all right guys so here we go this is it uh we got a bunch of foam little cutouts and foam sheets so you can make your own custom i don't know whatever <laughs> I guess it's for making your own lures, and then I got just a ton of like little tools and knickknacks and threads and fibers and just like calf hair, cattails, centipede legs. I don't know. That's what it says on the package <laughs> for making flies. I guess tying your own flies and all that. And then uh, VHS tapes and uh, felt inserts and just this is all just random stuff. I guess uh, T-bar hook remover. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nothing crazy. I don't think there's a whole lot of baits there, but just random stuff. And then we got some rabbit hairs up there on top, and then some more, like, random stuff, just like feathers and hairs and furs, just to tie your own flies. And then you're getting into the beads over here, and all the little, like, uh, shinies, I guess. <laughs> and then, yeah, I've got some more stuff to tie the flies with uh, nothing major there but I don't know maybe there's something major I have no idea all I know is this stuff is here and I need to get rid of it um yeah so you guys tell me what you think of all that and then starting to get into some jigs and spinners and spoons and hooks and just random stuff like that it's got all these spinner baits down here and uh, just all kinds of stuff. Some of them are just plastic. Some of them are made with uh, animal hair, looks like. And uh, yeah, just hooks, spoons, jigs, rigs, all that. Lots and lots of that. And then power baits, got tons of this stuff. Egg flies, whatever those are. They're like little egg looking things with hooks on them. Uh, just frog tails. Uh, more power bait. I've got a couple bins of power baits like that. Just rubber crawdad looking things and worms and squids, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, spoons, hooks, stuff, crankbaits, jigs, a little bit of everything here. So. Tell me what you think, ladies and gents. And we got a bunch of these uh, waders. They're felt sold fishing shoes. Uh, so I guess you can like step in the streams and stuff and not worry about it. And let's see, Kobuck, Flytech, Stearns, Wooden Stream, Dan, Bailey, uh, Red Ball. And then I've got a bunch that aren't even in the boxes. Uh, Cambriel, I don't know, Trinity, yeah. So, there you go. Just lots and lots and lots of boots. I'm going to be in the fishing boot business for a long time, I have a feeling. And then we've got a bunch of fishing tackle, uh, fishing, a fishing sign and a discount fishing tackle sign. The fishing sign is about four feet long and a foot and a half wide. And the discount fishing sign is about eh, almost six feet long and probably about four feet tall. And then uh, a bunch of more just rigs, line, fishing line, uh, hooks, <laughs> cool stuff. I mean this this is all good stuff. It's just when I don't mind researching and doing research and finding out how much stuff's worth and trying to sell it. But I mean when you sit there and go through 
the first hundred things and nothing is over five bucks, you get a little discouraged. So then it just makes me want to lot it up or find somebody that really doesn't even have to go through it. Somebody that this is their niche, this is what they do, and they just know what everything's worth without having to do all that work, and they're happy to. That's my preference on this stuff. I like, I don't mind going through stuff that I've never heard of if it's worth the time and just headache <laughs> of doing all the research. It's got to be worth the time. Like this stuff here, these line, this fly line, some of these are worth money. Look those up. Probably be sending some off to FBA maybe, but I figured I'd give everybody a shot before I just cherry picked everything, you know? Especially if somebody's really willing to come up like park a U-Haul and just take all this crap. <laughs> I'll help you load it. A uh, bunch more fishing boots and hunting clothes and hats and thermals and stuff. Uh, just some random stuff on this table. I don't know, flashlights and little tools, some fly line, a bunch of spools of extra uh, fishing line. Some of those are worth a lot. Look those up. Uh, tent pegs. More gloves, waders, felt soles, uh, just that sort of stuff. Uh, looks like some display cases, uh, some film tubes down there, those little film canisters, uh, bait canisters, the styrofoam ones, more boots, like those cheap old snow boots that you used to wear when you were a kid. That's probably something I need to find somebody that likes flea markets and sell them to them or something. Uh, rod parts, like the rod handles and rods over here. Got a couple of these uh, fly fishing rod cases. See, they've got the little hook and hinge, whatever. Three of those, and then they just, this slides off, and there's like a PVC pipe on the inside there where you can put your uh, fly rod. And then see here some little tools and stuff toolkits or something I'm not sure what all that stuff is but it's probably for like flying tying flies or something like that or fishing or fixing reels got lots of extra hooks for the pegboards those are gonna come in so handy got a bunch of these steel baskets uh, lots of the tubes and I got a ton of those plastic bags. There's a box of them somewhere around here. A bunch of shrink wrap. Those things are like 35 bucks a roll. I will be making good use of that stuff. Some more boots down there. Some more randomness. Just random crap. Little jacket. Uh, and then here we got the real parts. Some of these are working right now. Some of them up. And then we got the fly reels over here. I mean this one, number four Trinity spool, 65 bucks. Just spare spools, $12.99. I mean, I'd say this basket is probably worth more by itself than a lot of the rest of this stuff. So, But like I said, I won't cherry pick anything until you guys get a chance to check it out for yourself, see the video, and if I've got, if any of you are really willing to make a serious offer on this stuff, then you're willing to take it out of here, I will help you load it. <laughs> we can talk, but I mean... Like I said, if that doesn't happen, I'll still figure it. I'll still sell it. I'll still get it out of here, and I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. So if any of you can give me any suggestions, kind of help me identify some of this stuff, let me know what I got. You know, any helps appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that little red subscribe button, and go join the resellers. Wake up if you haven't already. It's my Facebook group, uh, and then course resell running on Twitter and Periscope. So thanks a lot. Bitcoin.